What's up you guys, I'm Kevin Anson with TheVideoCourse.com. Movember's fast approaching, so I'm just getting a little head start on that, so don't mind the beard. I'm actually recording this video on my iPhone 7 Plus in 4K. I gaff taped it to my Sony FS7. Hmm? Now some of you might be wondering, why the hell would you record a video on your iPhone 7 if you have a Sony FS7? <laughs> For more views, of course. Well, there's two reasons. Number one is that the iPhone 7 is like the hottest item on YouTube right now. Number two, I just wanted to see how well the quality looks. I mean, if this thing stands up to the competition, I might just start using it for all my tutorials. All right, so let's talk about why you guys are here. I wanted to show you how to create a lower third 100% inside of Adobe Premiere without ever having to go inside of After Effects. We still love you After Effects, but today we don't need you. I know some of you out there might be a little bit intimidated by After Effects, or maybe you don't even have it installed in, on your system. That's why I wanna show you guys how to create an awesome looking lower third in Premiere. And this is what it's gonna look like right here. And of course, as always, if you wanna just download the project file, the link to that is in the description below. Let's get started, please subscribe. One, two, three, listen. All right, so here we go. Once again, this is what we're gonna be creating here. And don't worry, I'm not praying there. I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna be saying next. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're gonna create a new sequence. And we're gonna go to the settings tab and we're gonna type in 800 by 160. You can change these numbers depending on what type of title you're creating. And we're gonna call this name because this is gonna be the person's name. And then we're going to go to File, New, Color Mat. And notice it's 800 by 160, which is perfect. And we're going to create some type of a blue color here. I'm just going to make up a color. That looks good. Hit OK. And we're going to call this Bar Blue. We're going to duplicate this. And call this Bar White. Duplicate it again. Call this Bar Gray. Now we have to double click in there to change the color. So we want to make sure this one is in fact white. Slide it to white. Make this one gray. Uh, gray color right there looks good. All right, we're going to drag our blue onto the timeline here. And we're going to zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. File new, title. And we're going to call this text name. Jonathan Anderson. The reason why I choose Jonathan Anderson is because it's kind of a long name, so you want to make sure that your name's going to fit inside of here. Can just scale this down. That looks good. Now we're going to drag this right on top of the timeline there. And then we're also going to put a white one below, a, a white bar. And then we're going to put another bar, a white bar on the top here. And we're going to slide this all the way to the right. And we're gonna have this little, uh, just this little white bar on the right hand side there for design. And also, it looks like my name is not pure white. So I'm gonna double click that layer and make sure that we are pure white. Yep, it's not. All right, that looks better. And then we're gonna create a new line. Cause if you look at the sample here, there's a line that passes through the blue bar there on the top and the bottom. So we're gonna create that line real quick. Go to File, New Title. Call this Text Line. And go to our Line Tool. And just draw a line right across the top. Boom. And if you wanna change the width of that line, you could type in a different number here. Uh, I'm gonna go with five, I think it looks good. And let's make sure it's a pure white color. Close this window. We're gonna drag our text line right on top. So we have this nice line across the top and we're gonna duplicate this layer. And then we are going to put another line at the bottom. There we go. There's our lower third. Now it's time to animate. So let's start with the bottom first. So I'm gonna turn off visibility and all these other layers. So we're only gonna see the white. We're gonna animate that on real fast. 
Go to your effects controls tab, make sure your layer is selected, hit position, and I'm gonna hit shift right arrow key four times, one, two, three, four, that's gonna move us over 20 frames in the timeline. Set a keyframe, go back, and we are going to slide this guy off the screen to the top. We're gonna right click, go to temporal interpolation, go to easy ease in, so that way when it lands, it's a nice smooth landing. Cool, looks good. We're gonna turn on the blue layer, we're gonna do the same exact thing for the blue layer. Set position keyframe, shift, right arrow key four times, keyframe in, go to the back to the beginning, slide this guy off the screen, right click, easy ease in, and then we're gonna offset this blue one just a hair, so that way the white one comes in first, and then the blue one comes in after, so it's gonna look like this. Looking great. Now we're gonna turn on our text layer, we're gonna slide this guy on the screen, I'm just gonna cut that layer so it starts right there. Go to effects controls, position, shift right arrow key, we'll say five times. One, two, three, four, five. Set a keyframe, go back to the beginning, slide it off. Easy ease in. Looking good, looking good. And then right about there, we probably want this bar white, this guy right here, we want that to slide on. So I'm gonna cut this right here. Make sure this is selected, go to position, shift right arrow key twice. Set a keyframe, go back, slide this guy off the screen and do it easy ease in. So now this little bar is gonna come on on the right hand side. And now right about here we want our lines to pass by. So let's turn those on. So it looks like this one is our top line. So position keyframe. Maybe over the course of 25 frames, we want this to pass by. So shift, right arrow key, one, two, three, four, five. Set a keyframe, go back to the beginning. We're gonna slide this all the way to the right. Go to the last keyframe, slide it all the way to the left. So now it's gonna look like this. There you go, you have your line passing by. Looks pretty cool. And then let's say right about there, we want the bottom line to pass by. Position keyframe here. Slide it all the way to the left. Go over 25 frames, one, two, three, four, five. Slide it off the screen. There we go. All right, now we have ourselves a nice looking name bar. So now we're gonna create the title for the person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and call this title. So now we're gonna go in here and we're pretty much just gonna delete everything in here except for the white bar. So we're gonna delete the blue. We don't need the name. We'll leave that. We don't need the lines. And we are going to drag our gray bar. Actually, let me show you guys a trick. If you duplicate this layer on your timeline, slide it over, 10 frames. And then if you option or alt drag this bar on top of this one, it's gonna change it to gray. So we just basically replaced that one. So now we just saved ourselves a little bit of time. So it's gonna go white and then gray, boom. So now this one's ready to go. And that one, see that little bar on the right hand side there it slides on too? So a lot of the animation's already done for us. Now all we have to do is go put the new, the new title in. So we're gonna call this text title. Marketing manager, change that to the font we were using, and maybe we'll set this one to regular instead of bold. Just give it a nice little design, and that looks good right there. Close this, drag the text title on top, right there, boom. And now, right about there, we want the marketing manager to slide on. So we're gonna go to our effects controls, position. We'll see shift, right arrow key, one, two, three, four, five. Set a keyframe, go back, slide it off the screen. Temporal interpolation, easy ease in. There you go. Now we have ourselves a nice title graphic. So let's go back to our sample here. Let's delete these ones that I made earlier. Now this is where it gets really important 
Because if you go back to these sequences that we just created, like the name one, for example, and you drag it on top of the timeline, it's gonna drag all the layers that you created on top of that. And it's just gonna look all janky when, you, when it animates in. That's not what you want. So you need to go into the sequence that you created and you need to select all these, right click and go to nest. And then you're gonna call this name nested. So now when you drag this sequence on top, it's just gonna be that one layer versus having all the layers. So now when this thing animates on, it doesn't look all funky. It's everything is constrained to that little box that we made. So same thing with the title sequence that we made. Go in here, select all the layers that you made, right click, go to nest, and then we're gonna call this title nest and hit okay. And then now when we drag this title sequence onto here, it's just that one layer. And then all you really have to do is just adjust the, pos the positioning of these guys and you're ready to go. So we're gonna click on the name and we'll drag this over here and move it down. And in some cases you might want this to be a little bit smaller because that's a little bit overbearing to have the name be so big. So you can just kind of make your make your little adjustments there and then uh, click on the title one. We're gonna make that maybe size of 50. Drag it where we want it. Maybe we want it all the way on the left here. Just depends on what you're doing. So that looks pretty good. And then I want to offset the animation. So I want the marketing manager one to come in a little bit later. So we'll just drag this over. There you go. So obviously this isn't the only lower third that you can create, but with that technique, now you understand how you can constrain a lower third within a box of that size. So anything that you animate in there will stay within that little realm of 800 by 160 or whatever pixel aspect ratio you decide to choose. So the design styles on this type of lower third inside of Premiere are pretty endless. I wouldn't say Premiere is the best tool for the job. I would totally prefer to use After Effects because there's just so many more tools that you can use in there. But if you just want to stay within Premiere, you can totally make some awesome looking lower thirds inside. So I would recommend just going on the internet and searching on some template websites to get some ideas for design and then create it inside of Premiere and use these same tactics that I showed you and you can totally make an awesome looking lower third. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Also, don't forget to get your free download. The link to that is in the description below. You'll get the Premiere project file that we just worked on and the fonts that I used. Please hit the thumbs up to like this video, share it with your friends, share it on Facebook. That would be so awesome if you did that, and I'll see you guys next time.